Welcome to today's 3D print. I have a gimbal for this phone now, so my handheld videos won't be so shaky. <laughs> I didn't have that when I made all the videos you're about to watch. So, uh, so welcome to today's 3D print. Um, today is a bus update and also a move update. So stay tuned. So, bus update. Um, basically, what I'm doing is I record little videos anytime I do something interesting with the bus. And when I have eight or nine minutes worth of videos, I want to put them together into a video for you guys. That'll be the update. So, these clips you're going to watch are, they were made over the last several months. Uh, every time I did something new, like the one, the first few clips were made like four months ago or three months ago, however long ago I bought the bus when I was removing all the seats from the inside of the bus. So, you know, it's not, not all this stuff will be current, but um, you haven't seen it before yet, of course. Just adjusting the angle on the gimbal here. It's a little sensitive. But um, I'm still in the process of tearing down all the printers, still in the process of cleaning out and packing up what I can from the house. Um, business update. Uh, yesterday, uh, landlord closed on the property. She sold it. So I had to sell the business yesterday as well. So that is now sort of done. Um, I'm going to separate the personal life stuff from this channel. I promise you guys transparency, but it's not good for the channel for me to have that kind of stuff here. This channel needs to stick with the bus stuff is fine and the um, 3D printing stuff, but the personal backstory stuff. It's not appropriate to have it here. So I'm going to put that on the recent casual corner. So if you guys are interested in that, and if you don't mind, go subscribe to that channel. Um, because right now I can't monetize that channel. Well, <laughs> but the sooner I can monetize that channel, the better. Uh, it might only be a few dollars a month, but it's better than zero. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, I'm going to put those major updates on that channel. And anything related to the bus will continue to show up on here because it's, it's popular here. And anything obviously 3D printing related will be here, of course. But anything personal, family, life, anything not directly bus or 3D printing related, I'm going to put there. From a business perspective, that's just logical. Um, that's it. Stay tuned and enjoy these little video clips. And uh, I have a couple of pictures at the end, they're just random pictures, not really much there, but. Um, Add them in. You guys enjoy. Don't forget, down below, I have my affiliate links, Patreon link, PayPal link. Any help I get is supported. Enjoy the video. We begin to remove the seats from the bus. This is one of the 22 seats that we have to remove. And we noticed that this one had a hole in the back. Well, it looks like students had a stash in here. So we had a bottle of water and then all this <laughs> hidden inside. The back of the seat. These are those sugar juice filled wax things. You know, they're wax, but they got like candy juice inside. And there's cake packages and stuff. Wax sticks. <laughs> Applesauce packs and Gatorades and oh geez. Whatever that is. Gushers. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Pebbles treats? <laughs> Oh my god, it just keeps on giving. All this was stuffed into the back of the seat. Oh jeez, crazy kids. So you got two bolts here, two bolts there, and then two bolts up there, and then the seat comes out. So you can see it's only got two legs. Then that other piece rides on that lip right there along the whole length of the bus. So that's that angle piece right there. So that's it. That's seat number 24. <laughs> 22 more to go since we're leaving two in there. Four seats. Two rows. So, 
I brought six of the benches from the bus down, so I could fit six in the trailer. Had to add three gallons of fluid to the front to balance the trailer. Because I can only get about 60 cents a pop for these at the scrapyard, and I said screw that. So, we are making a couch out of the seats. So, we just built a wooden support to support the middle feet on both sides so it doesn't tip over and now I have a serviceable couch I'll have plenty of extra of the seats that I can bolt on whenever the customers tear it apart and the back is also removable so I'm going to keep these two backs because they're perfect but I'll have like 15 others and when one gets torn up we can take it off replace it super quick and easy and have my bench seats working again so my bus is getting me my couches at work nice So we are modifying my custom bus seat couches to put a little more angle on the back since the customers were complaining they weren't very comfortable and I agree. So now with more angle, they are much more comfortable. So here's the inside of the bus. You can hear that nice echo, echo, echo. <laughs> the last thing to remove is that stack of cushions. All the seats are gone, scrapped or reused. I saved um, four of them to make into um, couches and I saved two more as spares for in here I'm going to keep the best of the cushions um, as spares for the store and for here in the bus because I left the four seats in there as you can see I'll show you from the other end in a moment that's actually a heater there are coolant lines running from all the way up there all along the wall here to this unit here there's a, a heat exchanger in there with a blower I think I'm going to try to leave that for now um, because it might actually be useful. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, if not, I it should be pretty easy to tee it off up there and save that piece in case I need it. Because that is a pretty neat little thing. Um, it also might work as a solar heater. You know, a solar heating unit running hot water into that. You know, hot cool it into that. Might work. I don't know. Maybe. Um, but I see the bus is in fantastic condition. I got a new stereo. 20 bucks for a little SD card, USB. AM FM radio. I'll show that when I install it. But yeah, bus is now basically ready for packing. I don't plan to do anything else to it until we move. But there you go, all empty. 39 feet of bus. Well, there's not that much interior space. Obviously, some of that is the engine bay up front. So let's move up there real quick. Here's the driver's seat. And then here's the bus. So I'm just keeping these four seats. Just so I can, some people can be in here. Four people comfortably, eight people a little tight. But it's obviously made for kids. But um, yeah, and I can, I'm six foot, you know, three inches tall, four inches tall, and I've got headroom in here. So they've clearly made these things taller since the early days. So I would never have to raise the roof on this. I wouldn't try. But um, now here's the question though. Do I put one large bench on one side as a maker space? This is obviously blue sky dreaming here, assuming I get to keep it. And then have chairs over here and a space to walk behind, but who's gonna walk over that? Or, huh, do I have a short table? Because I think a table that wide would be enough. And then there should be enough room if I stagger the chairs, a station here, then a station here, then a station there, for people to walk around. And then I can have workspaces on both sides. So that'll be interesting. That's dreaming, of course. Very good condition, no issues. We used a cutoff wheel to cut them off. You'll see video, you've probably already seen video of that. Spare cushions and stuff. These are all designed to be serviceable, so I can easily replace them. You know, if like if this one gets torn, I just take a spare and put it on. So, pretty cool. There's the front. I will keep making little videos when I have enough of them together to put into like a 10 minute video. You guys will see it. Stay tuned. The second entire pallet crate, that one down there, is filled with filament completely. This is two entire pallet crates filled with filament. 
That is over 500 pounds of filament, over 250 kilograms of filament. Uh, I'm sorry, 500 kilograms of filament, 1,000 pounds of filament. There's about 230 to 240 kilograms of filament in each pallet. And I've still got more crates back there filled with filament. I'm now going to try to disassemble the CR10 size printers, the ones that are made to come apart into two pieces. And I'm going to fill these crates with as many printers as I can. That should keep them reasonably protected. We shall see. Workstation action up here. As you know, I already got the new stereo installed, so I can actually listen to some MP3s on the way. I have a reverse camera I'll be installing. I also have my dash camera installed up here and the mount for my cell phone here. Although there is no 12 volt outlet, so I have to wire a 12 volt outlet into this. I got a USB fan instead of that. It'll be a little quieter. So getting the printers cleaned up, uh, tearing them down. All the brain box style printers get broken down to their base, to their top portion, and then all the little parts and bits go in a bag. Everything gets marked. And then the brain boxes are gonna go in one big box. These are gonna go in the um, pallet crates as much as I can. And the um, all the baggies of parts that are marked will go in a separate box. So it'll be as easy as possible to be able to put these back together on the other end.